What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Hardcore Fab Shop. I'm Anthony Bronner and on today's video we're back to work on the Rat Rod. I'm going to try to finish up some of the front suspension stuff on here and get a cross member in to mount our motor. The design elements of this front end and all of the cantilever suspension arms and everything like that so now we've got a design I want to go ahead and get the parts and pieces made to be able to actually put all of that stuff together and I think the first step in doing that is going to be to build a cross member for the motor and in that cross member underneath the motor is gonna have the mounts for the motor of course but then it's also gonna hold the front end of that frame together and that's gonna allow me to cut the front of this frame off like I was talking in the last video and I'm going to redo the whole ends of the frame rail and incorporate them into part of the design of the cantilever suspension. So I think it's going to be a pretty slick deal when I'm done. Let's do it. Alright, I got the motor up here where we can start working on it. The other side had a motor mount on it, this side didn't, so I only got a haircut before I got all greasy and dirty for the day and I scrounged up another motor mount bracket. So before I get started, I was gonna tell you, I did go ahead and clean off some of this stuff on here a little bit, uh, shape it up to where it looks a little bit better. I think it's gonna make a big difference in the end. I'll show you guys that here in a second. But I'm gonna get this mounted up there and then I can get some measurements on here and we can get started making this mount. All right, so like I said, I cut those little tabs off over here that hang down a little bit. I think it gives it a little bit cleaner look. I'll show you the one on the other side and you can tell me what you think in the comments down below. See if it was worth it or if I ought to go ahead and just make up some new ones from scratch. Now with both brackets mounted on there, all I need to do is get a measurement from the center of this hole to the center of the hole in the other bracket, and then I can start making this cross member. I've got a pretty sweet tool for that. If you guys don't know anything about this and want to learn more about it, I'm going to post a video up here somewhere or something if I can figure out how to do that, and I'll give you some more information on this thing. So. I'm going to use this, get my measurement, and get to drawing up this cross member. Alright, we got these measurements. Got to come in here and start drawing up some fun stuff. So, started out with some squares here for the frame rails. Then got the holes in there for where the motor mount bolts need to go. And start drawing out a cool looking design. Doesn't take long before you realize that you need some holes and stuff in there, so I started stretching it out and doing different things with it and putting different style holes in there and all that kind of stuff. You can kind of see some of the progression of some of the ways that I went before. Let me go ahead and fill this in and kind of see them a little better. Had some neat ideas there, but I wasn't feeling any of them really, 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 really feeling them. I got up to number four and it wasn't too bad, but I was worried that there was maybe too many holes in there. So when I got up to number five here, that one was the one that I was really kind of starting to feel and like. So I was decided I was going to go with that one and then I got thinking about it a little bit and I went ahead and dropped it down a little bit lower through here so that I could make sure and have enough room in the future for an aftermarket oil pan or something like that if I wanted to. And then it was time to go to the plasma table, cut some parts out, and then get to the welding. Alright, so I got the first piece cut for our cross member on our motor. Let's slip this on there and make sure it fits and see what it looks like. Well, all of our clearances look pretty good. I think it's going to be a pretty sick looking design. Now we just got to check it on the chassis and we can set this motor in there and get the exact measurement what we need to be able to build the back side of this bracket. I got the back one cut out finally. I've been fighting with this darn plasma table and the computer all day. It's been kicking me in the rear, so. Anyways, I finally got the bracket on the back of it done and I got a strip cut in the middle to be able to weld over the top of it and bend and form it all. Started putting it on here and tacking it on on the easy part and then I got to the point where I needed to heat up this part here of the torch and get it to start bending back up the hill here. And I'm out of propane. So, guess I might have to get some propane and I'll be back in the morning. So I got some propane on the way into work and I'm feeling a lot better after going home, getting a few hours sleep and going ahead and getting a shower. Yesterday really kind of sucked. I got here at about 8 o'clock in the morning and I didn't leave until about 10.30 at night. I was having all kinds of problems and basically the four, first four minutes of this video 
was that whole 14 hours that I was here at the shop. So that's pretty sad. I got 14 hours of work and I got four minutes of video out of it. The only time I really left was to go get that haircut, of course, and then a quick trip to Taco Bell for some food. I was really feeling behind, so when I got here this morning, I went ahead and just started working, just threw a time lapse up here for you guys to kind of see the process. You can see here, it's just a matter of getting a tack in and then getting everything in position and pushing it down and getting the next tack and just work your way around the part until you get everything all capped up. I did go ahead and tack that thing down to the frame at the front up there. That's obviously not where it's going to go, but I couldn't reach back up there in the middle of the chassis where it belongs. So I went ahead and just put it out there because then it was easier to grab a hold of and work and everything. And having it tacked down keeps everything a little bit more square and a little bit better shape. It gets to be kind of wonky if you don't have it tacked down. So it's just a matter of taking your time to line everything up right the first time. Then went ahead and stuck the thing up here on the motor and everything fit good. Everything fit square and all that like it should. Had a little piece left over that I could cut off and round off that last little bit of the edge and it's ready to go into the chassis and go into its final resting place. Well, I gotta tell you that was a lot of work to get to this point, but that thing is looking pretty damn sweet if I have to say so myself. I still got a couple hours of welding and grinding and all that kind of stuff to smooth up all the edges and everything, but I got her tacked in there. That's going to hold the front of this all together, so I think now we can cut the front of this thing off and start on our cantilever arms. you guys can hear me the thunderstorm came through so i'm in a metal building and it's raining like crazy so i'm gonna try to talk up hopefully you can anyways there's my bracket you already seen that i've got one of them stuck up here the way this is going to work i'm gonna have one on each side so it's going to end up getting boxed i've got a hole down here in the bottom that is uh the perfect fit for a piece of inch and three quarter one d-o-m and I'm going to slide that through there. I'm going to slide these on. And then I'll get everything all clamped together. About to get all welded up. I'll go ahead and cap all this off just like I did on the cross member there. And then on top of that, I'm going to take one of these little metal sleeves that I've cut, I'll put that on there. And then I've got these little bushing halves and they actually end up going right inside there. They're a perfect fit. So, and that's all adjusted and sitting up there. It'll look something like that. And then this will all be capped, like I said, and that'll all be a finished looking, good looking part. I'll get it capped on the back side as well. I think it'll look pretty sweet. Then our arm is gonna bolt on right over here and it's gonna pivot right there. And our bar down here below is gonna give us a good place to mount our radiator. And it's also gonna give us a place to mount the bottom link bars to help hold this front end in place. 